All right, um, today we're going to talk about metaphors. So yesterday we focused on similes. And today we'll focus on metaphors. Um, similes and metaphors are similar because they both compare things. Um, so like a simile, a metaphor is a way of comparing two things. But the way that they are different is they do not use like or as. So yesterday we talked all about how similes always use like or as. Um, a metaphor, will, you will not see the words like or as when you're comparing, when you're reading something that's comparing two things. Example of a metaphor, um, they're going to compare this runner here to a cheetah. But you're not going to see the words like or as like I just said. So they're unique because they're comparing two things. Um, they're different from similes and unique from similes because they're not using like or as. So Ben was a cheetah at the race today. So that's a simile because they're saying Ben is another thing. He is a cheetah. Okay. Um, or sorry, that's a metaphor because they're saying Ben is another thing. So Ben was a cheetah. If they said Ben was like a cheetah, then it would turn into a simile. But because they say Ben was a cheetah at the race today, we know that it is a metaphor. They're comparing Ben to a super fast animal, a cheetah. Okay. Um, You'll notice that it's two things, just like a simile, that aren't typically compared. You wouldn't typically compare a person to a cheetah, um, and that's why it's also a metaphor. But if we change it and say Ben was like a cheetah at the race today, then it becomes a simile. So metaphors are comparisons that do not use like or as. We can say the snow was a white blanket on the ground. So they're comparing the snow to a white blanket they're not using like or as, instead they're using was. A lot of times in metaphors you'll see was or are or is instead of like or as. So those are good words to look for when you're looking for comparisons. Here's another example. We have learning is a piece of cake with homeschool pop. Um, so learning is a piece of cake. They're comparing learning to a piece of cake using the word is instead of like or as. So once again, it's a metaphor and not a simile. And we have an example of figurative language. All of these are examples of figurative language um, because it's not to be taken literally, okay? Learning is not actually a piece of cake. Figuratively speaking, they're saying learning is easy. So for a quick review, metaphors are comparisons that do not use like or as.